Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Samad. So today I wanted to try something different and you know I have a couple of videos of me trying instant things, so instant bubble teas. You can watch it here if you haven't already. And this time, instead of drinks, I wanted to try food. Since I have been going to the Asian market more often, I actually came across like these things called self-heating hot pots and I didn't know what that was about so I decided to buy one just to try it out. I've heard about these self-heating hot pots before but I've never tried one so I'm excited to give it a shot and to see how it cooks the food or whether or not the noodles or whatever is inside will be good after it self-heats, you know? Anyway, before we get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and let's go! Subscribe! Okay, so today we are trying a toilet up from China and here it is. It's massive. It's almost as big as my head. Okay, I don't know how to read Mandarin but there is translations in the back. It is called YM Brand Sichuan Spicy Hot Pot Condiment for Sour Mustard Sliced Meat in Spicy Soup. That's a lot of words to describe what this is. On the top of it, there's actually like Mandarin words and stuff but it actually says vegetarian meat with pickled soup. I don't know whether that means whether there's fake meat or, you know, vegetable and meat. I'm, I, I, I'm not sure what it actually means but there's actually like information on the back with the ingredients and also instructions actually. There are instructions in Mandarin as well but there are English translations in the back so that's good. I'm not gonna be lost trying to figure out how to make this thing self-heat and cook my food I guess. First impressions, this is massive. I don't know how much stuff are in this but we'll have to see. Okay so let's open up this box and see what is inside. Opening, oh. Okay, inside there is this. Don't know what this is. No label on it. There is uh, this, which is, it says vegetable package. So I assume there's just a ton of vegetables in here. There is an aluminium bowl. Oh, um, a plastic spoon. I don't think this is quite necessary, but okay. There is... Oh, plastic chopsticks. Okay, again, completely unnecessary, but all right. I don't know what this is. Some sort of vegetable oil or something. Hmm. Oh, maybe this is the pickled vegetable. There's no words on it, so I don't really know what it is, but that's what I'm assuming. Two noodle packets, vermicelli noodle, and what is this? Right, this is the heating pad. So I don't know what this is. What is that? A narwhal? So these are the food contents and not including this, of course, this is the heating pad. And then you have the noodles, I think the pickled mustard thing for the soup, vegetable package, and I don't know what this is. Maybe it's like seasoning or something. And then it also comes with chopsticks, a plastic spoon, also this aluminium bowl which I assume you put the contents of everything here into this. Okay so here are the instructions. So one of the things that I'm supposed to do is add boiling water to the thing so I'm just gonna boil water first. Let's open the contents of this. This is the vegetable package. Um, I'm already done boiling water by the way, so that's fine. What does it look like inside? Whoa, that's a lot of vegetables. Put this in here. I think I'm gonna use scissors. Hold on. Next, I'm going to put this in. So let's do this. Next is, I assume this is bean curd. There's no like instructions on it, so. Yep, this is a tofu, so that's going in. Boop. Looks like a piece of chicken. Mmm, smells really nice though. And now the vermicelli. Okay. Boop. So that's everything, all the food contents in the bowl. And it says the next step is to add boiling water to the water line. And I assume that the water line means this. Okay, so I'm supposed to take this, 
remove it and put it in here and put cold water. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is what it looks like. It's the heating pad. So I'm supposed to take this out, put this in here like that and take cold water and just cover the pad itself. So I'm gonna do that. Okay. And then I'm supposed to put this in and then cover it with a lid and then let's see what happens. FYI, this is going to be really hot because it's aluminium, so be careful with that. It says to cover this for 8 to 12 minutes, so that's what I'm going to do. Look, there's actually a hole in this, so... Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Do you hear that? Oh my god! A few moments later... Okay, it has been about 8 to 12 minutes and so far I smell some really nice aromas which smells a little bit like chicken soup. Let's open this up and see what's happened after this thing started bubbling up. <laughs> oh, wow. So I'm gonna use my own chopsticks to like stir it up a little bit. So you can see the vegetables in it. So this is what the bean curd looks like. Kind of looks like meat, doesn't it? I guess these are either potatoes or ginger. Maybe it's ginger. Lotus as well. So here's the lotus. I, this is um, fungi, I think, so like mushroom. Bean sprouts, you can see the bean sprouts and then the vermicelli. I have the self-heated noodles here, so I'm just gonna give it a try. It does smell good, but I'm not entirely convinced by how greasy it looks. Hmm, interesting. It's not, it's not very spicy at all. It's actually, there's like a little bit of chili in there. This is tofu, right? But it actually kind of has the texture of chicken so i think it's one of those when they say vegetarian meat it is i think fake meat which i guess just equates to tofu because that's what the ingredients list said it's bean curd it tastes like meat it's really weird i know it's tofu just based on what it looks like when you bite into it but it tastes like meat so they did something to this like they marinated in something mm, see do you see the grease on it it's like really oily Oh, I don't really like that. Flavors are nice, soup is nice and stuff. It's just greasy. Like, I don't like how greasy it is. Oh, there's bamboo shoot as well. So this is usually quite nice. Usually, but this is quite hard to eat because you're not boiling it or anything, so. Yeah, and then I think, I think these are ginger slices. It's hard. I don't know what I'm eating. But it's definitely not ginger. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. Okay, so here are my thoughts on this self-heating hot pot. Number one, I don't really understand the point of the heating pad because realistically, you are pouring boiling water onto the ingredients that are packaged. So what's the difference between that and, you know, putting everything into a pot and just boiling it for like two minutes? Number two, I'm not really a fan of the soup overall. I think the flavor of it is really good. It tastes really good. It's kind of salty, but I mean, it's instant, right? So it's going to be salty. I am just not at all a fan of the grease. Like It's really, really oily. And I don't know if that's like chili oil or something, but I feel it coating my lips and coating the back of my throat. And I'm not a big fan of that. Number three, I do like the vegetables and stuff. I think that some of it is not properly cooked because how are you supposed to properly cook like, what is this, potato, sliced of potato? Like this, how are you supposed to properly cook it if you're not gonna boil it properly, right? But I do like the fake chicken, which is the tofu, because this actually tastes great. Like. Like, the marinade of this is really good. So I actually really, really like the fake chicken. Everything else, like the vegetable, mm, not particularly impressed. Overall, would I buy this again? No. 
I think it it is pointless. <laughs> I think it exists for the heck of it, like the gimmick of it. So if you do want to just try it out and just have a bit of fun, sure, go for it. But overall, I don't think that I would buy this again. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say that this was between four to eight pounds. So it is pretty expensive for something that's supposed to be instant. Like it's a lot cheaper to just buy instant noodles and then add your own vegetables to it. Out of 10, I'm going to give this a four. I mean, it's still edible and it's still decent, oily but decent. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you now know what is inside one of these self-heating hot pots that you can make a decision whether or not you want to go ahead and try it for yourself. I thought the steaming part was a little bit impressive but after a second of just looking at the steam come out, if you're gonna buy it, enjoy the food. If you're not gonna buy it, I hope you enjoyed this video so that you can live vicariously through me, basically. Could you guys comment down below and tell me if you have any recommendations for me to try out any weird stuff? Because I really wanna try all the weird instant stuff there is out there. And if I can try and find it in the Asian markets or whatever, please just let me know what it is so that I can go and get it and then I'll try it and I'll do a video for you. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And I will see you next time. Bye!